So today we're going to look at this stemmed cup, which when I first purchased it at auction, I didn't know what it was, and nor did they. The first assumption that it was that it was Etruscan Bucaro ware, but then I later discovered that it wasn't that, but in fact it's very early Chinese, and I will show you how we determined that. So the first thing that struck me about this is how light it is. The walls of the vessel are very, very thin, um, which is very unusual and actually is not typical of Bucaro ware, Etruscan Bucaro ware. And if you look at it closely, you can see on the inside how, you see these little holes? They used a stylus to punch through and you can see the clay that was left from their punching through the hole and it's still there which is rather remarkable given what it turns out I discovered its enormous age. Because in fact it's not Etruscan, I was able to discover that it's Chinese, Neolithic, approximately 3500 BC. And the fact it survived is a miracle. And one reason I didn't recognize it at first, because they're actually quite rare, you don't see many in museums, and unless you're looking for them, it wouldn't strike you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't notice them. And I'll show you another example in a book. So once I began to think it was Chinese and not Etruscan or Italian and manufactured, I was able to find a parallel for it. And this is an archaeologically discovered stemmed cup from the Longshan culture in China, which is approximately you know, 3,000, 3,500 BC. So very, very early. And they're, they're not very common. I've seen now one in the Metropolitan Museum, another one in Toronto, and uh, there are a handful of others in museums in, in the, around the world, but not many. So it's actually quite a rare thing and a rather miraculous survivor that we can see how it was made, that 5,000 years later, the marks of its making are still clearly evident and the surface is beautifully preserved. It has been broken and repaired, but you, was very, very well repaired and it doesn't detract from the piece in any way. So I, I love this object, and I did from the first moment I saw it, and it's been great to learn about it.